play up Pompey will be the cry from one end. And the baggies, they'll be at the other end, well supported, both clubs, 34,000 tickets each, finally, for the two supporting semi-finalists here. And a refreshing change, perhaps, for those who think that football does extend below the top six clubs in the Premiership. Herman Horidison passed his fitness test, but John Utaka didn't. So with Jermaine Defoe cup tied, Milan Barros comes into the starting lineup, still looking for his first Portsmouth goal. Three of the starting 11 have FA Cup winners' medals Campbell and Carnu for Arsenal. Lasana Diara was an unused Chelsea substitute in last year's final. Neil Clement, recently recalled from a loan spell at Hull, is at the heart of West Brom's defence. And up front, the veteran Kevin Phillips is partnered by Roman Bednar, who has a Scottish Cup winners' medal with Hart two years ago. Here's Phillips. Distan and Campbell are already having a chat, which I think they're saying to Diara, look, you know, I th we think you need to be responsible for this fella because uh, Bedner's playing through the middle, so Distan and Campbell are going to have to get that sorted, marking him, and Diara might have to pick Phillips up. And Tony Mowbray, who's uh, just changing seats there for a moment. Here's Phillips. Hoping on to gear up. Oh, and David James has fumbled that and needed help. Yeah, Campbell with the clearance. Balosh with Albrechtson. Milan Balosh. Howard is going for a foul. Oh, he's going to book him handball. He's going to book him. I think he's booking him for kicking the ball away. But yes, possibly. Definitely handball, there's no doubt about that. But, well, and he's blown so early that he knows mm. that Barros can hear him and he's just he's gone for the shot and gonna have. But it's a yellow card one way or the other for Milan Barros anyway. Albrechtson. Calling. Bednar and Phillips start their runs now. Phillips. Johnson just gets ahead in there. That's David Jones doing. He's laughing, that's what he's doing now. Come on, Harry. It's going to be sorted out here, I think. Well, West Brom are doing the championship crowd as, as of now, but this is Carnu now for Portsmouth looking for Barros. And the first really worrying moment for the uh, West Brom defence. I thought Barros went to ground too early in trying to turn it past Kylie. Is really anxious to get this ball, and Montari and Cranshaw moving across towards it, and they've played it back to Sol Campbell. He's found Johnson. That's going towards Barosh. Carnu's with him. Milan Barros. Oh, it's a save by Can Oh, it's going to be a goal. It's Carnu who has put Portsmouth ahead. A bit of a fumble by Dean Kiley. Well, this is Barros first of all here, Kylie makes a very good save, tries to get back and smother the ball, and his own defender stops him doing yeah, so. Yeah, I think it's Gearer, isn't it? 11, it, it, it is. It's Sultan Gearer. Look, he's, he's on it, he can get it. And it's a tap-in for Carnu because the other Albion defenders didn't react. It's very, very difficult, ooh, special handball, very, very difficult for Kylie in that situation to say to Gearer, leave it, because it's almost over the line. Yeah. You can understand why it's happened. West Brom suffered heartbreak here last year in the playoff final against Derby. Is this the signal that it might happen again despite all their superiority in the first 50 minutes of the game? Brent fires that into Johnson, who gets the better of him. That's a nice ball by Glenn Johnson. And Nico Cranshaw here is running all the way and he's trying to slide Barosh in and this could be two. Oh, well saved again by Kylie. Well, it is, but I, th I thought for a moment when Barros got played in that, that Kylie had went down to the ground very, very early. Have a look at this. I thought in the end Barros can take it past him. He's gone. Look, Kylie's gone there. Just run it past him and have another touch. Was there a handball mark in the build-up to the goal? You did mention it on the second replay. I'm just anxious to know whether that was 
a good you call. Go. It's Milan Ooh, Barrage. Well, makes I like some movement, doesn't he? Yeah, I think that's a, that they've got a case for complaining there, the Albion. I think Portsmouth are lucky. Gira and uh, Coran's in the middle now for Albion. Ball's apparently still in play. Coran! He's hit the bar. Well, Portsmouth thought the ball was out on the far side. Perfkins made the run mark, didn't he? Fantastic run, John. Portsmouth thought it was offside, one or two of them stood still. It just, it's a barnstorming run. I tell you what, a nice little ball in as well to Coran. What a good pullback this was by Herfkins, and what a good strike by Coran. The official attendance, by the way, 83,584. They were a bit worried about too many empty seats with the club members not coming. There are a few, but it's a good crowd for this semi-final. Oh, look at this, it's Nugent from Franchise Pass. Nugent, saved by Kylie. And a foul by Nugent. He just seemed to panic, David Nugent, when he got the ball. I think he could have had another touch. You can't, you, you know, you can't tackle in the do, in penalty area. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he can go and have another touch and then strike it. Phillips on the run here. Oh, distant had to be acrobatic. Kim was following up as well. Herfkin's outside. Miller, chance. Oh. Tell you what, another great ball from Herfkin's. He's, he's made 40 yards up the right back here, getting under Coran's pass. There he comes into your picture. What a good ball this is as well. Just a warning here for Pompey. One more Albion attack, maybe. Glenn Johnson to head this away. Only as far as Kim. And he'll settle for a corner. Well, now then. David, um, Dean Kiley is coming up, the goalkeeper. The last act, Kim to take the corner. Kiley's up there. Well, it was a very poor corner and not a particularly good clearance. It doesn't matter. Portsmouth have reached the FA Cup final for the first time since the Second World War. Since they won in 1939, Harry Redknapp makes a little bit of personal history. And Portsmouth, who were poor in the first half, can now celebrate. The final score here, Portsmouth 1, West Bromwich Albion 0. Uh, that's typical of Portsmouth in the FA Cup at a minute. We, uh, we seem to struggle first half and get going better in the second half. So, you know, we, we knew that we were going to win. Well, we were confident we were going to win the game. Um, as I say, I think we controlled it as much as they did have some uh, decent possession, but everyone's happy, so... Carmen, many congratulations. Tell me about the goal that won the game. Um... Yeah, I just saw it, you know, the keeper parried it and uh, he like a go, go mass scramble and it came off and then lucky go didn't have to score. It looked like a strong suspicion yeah. of handball from Barros as yeah. he controlled the ball well, for the goal. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know what officials are like in these big games, uh, you know, they tend to bottle it a little bit, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think we can hold, you know, hold our heads up high. We put in an excellent performance, we just didn't find a goal and I think, you know, Portsmouth have been very lucky today. If we'd have found that goal in the first half when we dominated the game, I think we could have gone on and won. There was a big suggestion, there was a handball leading up to the goal. I've, I'm not sure, but I would say it was maybe, uh, it touched with my hand as well, So, but I haven't seen the replay yet, so uh, I can't be sure, you probably already know. West Brom played ever so well, they're a good, good team, and that's not, I'm not saying that as a winner when it's easy to talk well about the opposition, they were excellent, they passed the ball great. First half, they came out, they start, got out the blocks quicker than us, they passed the ball better than us, and at half time, you know, you were looking at it, you wouldn't have won to pick a winner. We probably didn't threatened their keeper enough today, um, you know, I think for up to about 75 yards I thought we were pretty good with the ball today and moved it around the pitch well, but um, that final little bit which is where normally you kill teams, it, um, it wasn't happening for us today. It's great for Portsmouth, you know, if you understand the history and where we've been, where we were five, six years ago, where we were two years ago. I only work for the club and the supporters and uh, to get a result for them today, to send them home happy is what I, what I live for, so I'm delighted for them. I hope they have a great weekend.